Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you from the northeast of Scotland. Um, this will be my final espresso review for the month, and I have decided to do a supermarket coffee that I got uh, for two pound fifty in Tesco, and as you can see, it's some good old Costa coffee beans. This is their Mocha Italia Signature Blend. Strength is number three, medium. Um, and this is the back of the packaging as well. So I'll just read the description. It says at the back, at Costa, we know great coffee. The proof, we've been serving our legendary signature blend since 71. It took 112 different blends to get it just right, but boy, was it worth it. The perfect balance of delicate Arabica and strong robusta beans, slow roasted for a smooth and nutty flavor and rich aroma. Apologies for me laughing slightly there. It's just a, just the marketing that they put on their packaging is quite interesting and quite bold claims actually. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Costa coffee. Um, I mean, I've never tried their beans, but their actual coffee that you can get from the, the, the retail cafes, etc. I mean, it's all pretty average. I mean, the coffee that I've been trying um, blows most of the Costa uh, coffees that I've tried, blows it out of the water, to be honest. However, I am quite interested to try this one. Um, as I said, it's cheap. It's only £2.50. Um, so let's go up to the niche then, shall we, and take a look at the beans. I have already weighed out the 18 grams. So we'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, welcome back. That's us up top looking at the, uh, down at the beans in the niche. Now, I would suggest that the beans to me look medium to dark, I would say. Um, they smell okay, so I'm interested to see what we're going to get once we grind them. Um, I've tried dialing this in and I'm had a, having a bit of a hard time. Um, I tried it at 14. The pull was extremely short. I tried it at 12 and it was still short. Um, so now I've uh, got the dial on the niche at 10. So I'm really hoping that that will give us a decent shot and a decent time. So anyway, on to the grind then. Okay guys, so the moment of truth has arrived, um, that's his back of the pewter sticker, uh, the boiler is sitting at 93 degrees Celsius, group head is nice and hot, um, so that's 18 grams in, we're hoping to get 36 grams out in approximately 25 to 30 seconds, as I said on the niche it's sitting at 10, I'm really hoping that that will give us a decent shot, but I'm not overly confident, uh, I still think it's probably going to pull a bit short, but anyway let's give it a go then shall we. Okay, so I think we actually got an okay shot there. That was uh, 31 seconds. Slightly short, uh, well not slightly short, but um, grams wise I think that's 35.5 grams, so not quite the 36 grams we were aiming for. As you can see that shot uh, gave us a, a little bit of crema. Um, so I think what we'll do is we will just pause it here and then we'll get on to the tasting, shall we? Back in a second. Okay guys, so welcome back. That's us ready to do a tasting just now. So as you can see, still a little bit of crema just sitting there on top. I'm really interested to try that. I'm actually really happy with that pool, to be honest. I've been tried it two times and it uh, was just way too short. That seemed to be pretty much what I'm looking at. So we're looking for 
Anyway, let's get on to the tasting. So onto the nose first. There's some caramel sweetness there. A little bit of bitterness lurking in the background. There's chocolate notes. Does does smell quite strong. Anyway, let's let's, have, let's give it a bit of a let's give it a taste, and then shall we? Mmm, that's quite rich. Chocolate. A lot of chocolate notes coming out on this one. There's sweetness there. Lots of caramel sweetness coming through. Mouthfeel is probably medium bodied. It's not really that full, to be honest. I'm not really getting much velvety texture to this. This is quite, not rough and ready, but a little bit harsh. A little bit of bitterness as well. Just on the end there, but not much. It's actually rather good. Let's have another taste. Mm. So, a little bit more chocolate, sweetness, nuttiness, A little bit of dryness on the palate. I'm not getting um, that much flavour with the dryness. Um, I'm actually, you know something, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with that. Um, I mean, that's what, £2.50 for a bag of 250 grams worth of beans, I think it is. I mean, it's really not bad at all. Um, I mean, I mean, £2.50, what else can you get for £2.50? You know, what other beans could you get for £2.50? I'm sure they're slightly cheaper than that, but um, I would say that's actually pretty decent. I mean, um, it delivers on flavour. It delivers the chocolate notes. So if you're into, this is definitely more for your um, espresso lovers that like the more traditional sort of style. So the loads of chocolate, um, sweetness, a little bit of bitterness. Um, if you like that profile like I do, um, I think you'll find a lot to enjoy. I mean, for £2.50, I mean, it's better better than getting a slap in the face by a wet fish, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it's, um, it's not blowing me away. I wouldn't expect at this price point for any coffee to really blow me away. But... Um, I think this tastes better than what I've had in Costa, <laughs> to be absolutely honest, which is quite ironic. Um, um, it reminds me very much of the of the of the Twilight Blend blend from Black Hat Coffee, but the Twilight Blend is a lot lot, lot more full bodied. It's a lot uh, richer. This is quite still quite bold, but a little bit light, a little bit muted on the palate. Um, I'm not getting much more notes than just the traditional. Um, chocolate, um, sweetness, and a hint of bitterness. Um, not getting much else, to be honest, on that. But as a score, I would probably give this, I would say probably a six to a six and a half out of ten. Maybe I'll probably stick to a six, to be honest. I do, I do prefer the Illy. I think the Illy is bolder and richer and stronger and hits, hits, you know, it's more punchy. And it's more what I'm looking for in espresso. But um, as a distraction, um, and I think that if you have guests around at your house, I think they'd be quite happy with this cost of coffee. I mean, you can keep your more expensive, your more expensive beans for yourself. I mean, I think that uh, guests would enjoy that, to be honest. I think if you add a little bit of malt cabin as an Americano, I think it would be quite enjoyable. Anyway, guys, so that's uh, Costa Coffee's Mocha Italia 
signature blend. Um, I think good value for £2.50. You can't complain. Right, so just a wee preview of what I'll be reviewing next. Um, this review is getting quite long, so I do apologise. Um, so this is the second bag of beans I got from Coffee Collective. And it's the Kieni Espresso. So I'll be reviewing that quite soon. So my plan for tomorrow is to do my top three espressos for the month and also introduce some coffees that I'll be tasting in March. Um, I'll probably give a full list of what is uh, to come. I can tell you right now there's lots of exciting coffees to come. Um, so as usual guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like my content, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. Anyway, this has been a fantastic month so far. Well, it's nearly finished, but February has been an amazing month really for coffee and that I've tried. Um, so you'll be able to see what I think is the best coffee going around or that I've tried uh, for this month. You'll see that very soon. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on again. Uh, take care and have a good day. Cheers.